part is um, a new segment, which we're actually trying out today. So it's going to be called uh, Underrated, Overrated. So we're going to ask Jade some, you know, just some simple things that I know she, you know, is in within her, you know, her bracket of what she may like or what she may not like. But we're going to see if she thinks it's underrated or overrated. So the first one is um, R&B. Is it underrated or overrated? Underrated. 100%, I agree. Um, I don't know if this is a. I don't know if this is a thing in the women's game, but this is a thing in the men's game. So I wanna I wanna get your opinion on this. Designer wash bags when you're going to the games and you have <laughs> underneath your <laughs> underneath your arm is that underrated or is that overrated? Underrated. Underrated. <laughs> Seriously. Like we used to have to carry our kit at Liverpool. So like, what how, what are you fitting in your wash bag? Like, okay, no, you have your, you have your, you have your, um, your rucksack or whatever your bag is, though. That, like, do you know what? Like, no one really does that. No okay. one has, no one really designer like that to be. Yeah, in women's football, it's not like that at all. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe people don't have that. Okay, so I was thinking. Okay, it's just a men's thing, and I just see. Men like do. obviously. Some players who will have a designer wash bag, but no one. It's not no, a thing. No, no, it's not a thing. Yeah, I think that's the you know those memes in in football and um, like those memes on I'm I'm just bait or anything like that yeah and it has like things like footballers do or something. Wash bag is like one of them. You know what? Yeah, there was like there was a couple of players yeah, when I was at Chelsea yeah who would like who had their wash bag like that and would carry it like that and we like a few of us would just be like like why like <laughs> it's not really a thing like it's not a thing right in women's football like to be carrying your designer wash bag like that like it's just it's yeah, just yeah. not like it's that's a bit that, yeah that's mm, no okay that's good though that's good you don't have that mentality um I'm, i've got fake ones in so the airpods uh, AirPods underrated, overrated. Um, underrated. Like AirPods, yeah. I've never actually had them, the real ones. I, I refuse to spend that much money on. on no, I. Th- I don't have them. I don't mm. have them. Like, cool. I'm not really into all of that. Like, do you know what though? Yeah, someone um. <laughs> All my friends are always like to me, like, you need to get the earpods now, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Why have you still got the wire or iPhone? Yeah, that's what people say, uh, people are saying to me. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered like, either. I'm not bothered either. Like, I don't care about all the latest stuff. Like, yeah. if I like something, I'll get it. But, like, if I've got... They come free with my iPhone. I don't need, I don't need the earpods. But everyone's getting on to me, so... You might see me with them soon. <laughs> Peer pressure. All right. Um, London nights out, underrated or overrated? London, London specifically. Mm, overrated. I'd agree. Um, Liverpool Wait. nights out. Oh, go, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> say what you have to say. That's a hard one. Because do you know what it is? Because now I'm up here, when I go home, you kind of do want like a London night out, but it is kind of overrated. I prefer nights out, but yeah, up here. Okay, I was going to ask Liverpool nights out, overrated or underrated? Well, it's not even Liverpool anymore. It's Manchester. That's the new place. Mm-hmm. Um, Sorry, I'm I'm not in the new school. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't get. Out. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't get out that much no more. So I wouldn't know. Um, underrated. But, Okay, we'll just use that as up north. So up north, underrated or overrated? You said underrated, and I would 100% agree. Um, Chinese takeaway, overrated or underrated? Um, overrated. Uh, underrated. What's your favourite takeaway? I like Thai. 
Tie, if I exactly. Anyway, I always get tired now. Tie, yeah. And people would think, oh, what's the difference? There's a big difference. Oh, there's a big difference. A big difference. Exactly. The flavors, the spices, yeah. and everything like that. It's just, yeah. And especially for my dietary. Nah, are you still vegan? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, next question. Uh, socks, socks with sliders, underrated or overrated? Huh? What? So, you know, you got sliders, you know, like flip flops. Oh, yeah. Or how, it's not flip flops, it's sliders. Like, you know, the, the Adidas mm-hmm. one, whatever, whatever it comes with. But with socks, overrated or underrated? Um, overrated. So you, you'll actually, you know, pull out the toes and everything like that. Yeah, like I'm not good. Like, if I go into training and stuff, obviously I just put my socks on. Mm. Put spiders on and whatever, but um, yeah, I'm not really. I don't mind. It depends. Um, like, if you're just going to the, if you're just like putting them on casually to go to the shop, cool. But like, you know, you see some people like when it's like really, really hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, that that's not a thing. Yeah. Well, for me, anyway. For me. I just, I'm a nice person, so I don't want to show other people my feet. Um, so I just choose to put my socks on, you know, just for the, for the better of society, you know. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So for me, and here I do it, and in Canada, everyone will laugh at me. You know, they'll be like, what is that, like, type of thing. But I'll be like, back home, it's like, you know. It's a norm. <laughs> it's a norm, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? So, um, oh, this one. I don't know if you do it in the women's game as well. You gotta tell me. Um, cutting your socks, your football socks. Um, I personally don't do it, but yeah, like they they do it in. Okay, yeah. underrated or overrated? Overrated. I agree. I don't do it either. As long as I have socks that are, you know, long enough to cover my knees, I'm good to yeah. go. I have to have the socks that cover my knees, but I'm not really bothered. Yeah, same, same. I don't like. have, like, weird things like that. Like, some people, you know when it has, like, the left and right? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not bothered? Like, no. You, I, I used don't to, be bothered about anything like that. I used to not be bothered, so, weirdly, with that, it has the left and right. I wear left, left, and I wear right, right. But I'll, if I have left and right, I'm going to put it on left and right. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so if, if I have two left, I'll wear the socks. And if I have two right, I'll wear the socks. But if it's like left and right, how it's supposed to be, I'll put it on the exact same foot. That's how I am. So I'm not bothered, but if it's there and it tells you how to do it, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Do you have um, like superstitions? Is that what? Yeah, yeah. So with me, it's to do with socks, actually. So... Um, probably why I actually wear long socks. I always like before games. You always see me like getting the sock, going like that, like stretching it, like behind my back, like just stretching the sock, like just for like ten minutes. I don't know why. Um, you can't. I can't tell you why, but that's the thing I do before games and kind of stretches my back and like you know my body out as well. So that's what I do. Um, before games okay um last last two um dressing in all white underrated actually let's do two dressing in black and dressing in white under underrated overrated so two-part question if i had to choose like, i'm always usually in black so um mm. all, all white like I mean, for girls, I don't think that's really a bad thing. Like, the mm. girls are all white, so... But if I had to pick out of both of them, like, I feel like for a guy dressing in all white, no. Like, no. That's not... <laughs> that's not cool. Nah, but um, what if... You know, you see some guys, yeah, like... Okay, no, maybe like, they're... Like, the white jeans and that. The white jeans. If it's like a white party or if you had to, mm. then cool. But 
Yeah, you're not really on it. No. All right. I, Last. All white. Go on. Over. Go on. No, no, go on. You said all whites, what? Yeah, like, no, that's not really a thing. Oh, Why were you, nah, <laughs> you feeling it? Nah, I actually, no, I actually wasn't. I've worn it before, but that's been at white parties. So, but like, I'm saying, I've seen, I think I've pulled it off a couple of times, but with me, I'm the same way. So, I'm all black. Really? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a few, <laughs> I'll send you a few pictures after this. 100%. I've pulled it off, trust me. But, um, yeah, last question. Women's football, overrated, underrated? Underrated. Yeah. Why why would you or not why uh explain the the reason why you, you feel like that? Um I just feel like it's always compared to the men. Like mm. always compared to the men where I don't get why it's compared to the men, it's completely different. Like mm-hmm. we get that like we could why can't we just have our own separate sport? We get that the men have more fans, more money, more, more everything. But we, we're not trying to be compared to them. We just mm-hmm. want our own, our own game. Um, I think where women's football is going as well, it's always it's continuing to, to get bigger. And definitely, I think like now you'll see like more girls growing up and saying that they want to exactly want to be a football yeah definitely more televised definitely like I, I know that so many more people is out there for more people to watch but I just think like once it's compared to the men it's just shall I tell you shall I tell you what is um it's two things that I think that is um the cause of like this whole discussion and everything like I'm here in Canada and it's so normal for girls to play football and it should be so normal to do whatever you want to do, you know? Like, yeah. as you said, you treat it like just, obviously, it's the same sport, but it's just two different categories of the sport, you know? Yeah. Same same as in, um, you know, how you have in tennis, you know? So there's Serena and there's Roger Federer and Nadal or there's, yes, yeah, Serena and... Um, Canadian girl who beat Serena, I forgot her name. Um, but yeah, there's just two different things and no one talks about that, you know, like it's, it's not a thing to be spoken about. But I think, shall I tell you what it is? I think from um, my experiences with um, being around people and everything like that, I feel like, like you said, um, raising girls to want to play football and have the courage to say they want to play football was a thing back in the day because, you know, maybe some parents would be like, oh, my daughter's not playing football, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, that's for Jack the Lad type of thing, you know what I mean? So yeah. I think that was a reason. And then, you know, it's probably the same in America where you have, um, well, not really, because Americans, they have a really good girls team. But I mean, like, in America, their number one sport is, like, NFL. Like, that's how they see it, right? Um, mm. And I think that's the new discussion in sports that's going on now that uh, like women, they didn't want women to play NFL. And it's the same thing leading back to maybe 10 years ago or something like that, where people thought it wasn't like, <laughs> it's actually crazy to say it. People thought it wasn't right for women to play football. You know, it's yeah. actually crazy. So I feel like, um, I feel like it's just like, you know, men being too, um, you know, too, I don't know, too involved in just, you know, things that have nothing to do with them. Because at the end of the day, like, it's, if it's safe enough for men to play the sport, it's safe enough for women to play the sport. If it's good enough for the men to play the sport, it's good enough for the women to play the sport. So I feel like she should just leave it as that, really. That's just down to, like, like equality, basically. I think in women's football, we're always driving for, for that. But... Like I said, we're not saying that. Like, there's equality in different forms. Mm-hmm. And we're not saying that we should be paid the same as men. We're not saying... We're not saying that. It's not got, not really... Yeah, we should be paid better. That yeah, we're exactly. 
but we're not saying we should we're on the level as the men because we don't we don't have that like do you know what, do you know what I mean not many we don't have as many fans come into the game we don't bring in as much money commercially but it just comes down to like having the same things as them as facilities like the stand standards of pitches that's what we're, we're kind of still trying to fight for so I think mm-hmm. that's um that's one of the main things. I think everyone always compares it. But let's just have, if you, if we want to play football, we should be able to play football. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. For more content like this, like, share, and subscribe.